Welcome back. So we're going to try something. I've been watching some YouTube videos. <laughs> I rarely do it, but I've started. And we're going to try something which I saw by uh, a YouTube channel called Co Concrete Resin Ideas. They did this video about a year ago. Um, they called it the marshmallow effect. I've seen it done and called different things. So we're going to give it a try. It gives us some really good results, but we're also going to stir things up because in her video she didn't stir things so we're going to keep some plain but then we're going to stir some as well just to see what we get we're using the collaboration resin today we're going to be using the Letch resin pigments you could do this with uh, pigment paste you could probably do it with alcohol inks as well we're also going to be using the Letch resin sinker white the sea deeper so let's get mixing Okay, so I filled my, not all of them, but I filled some of them. I haven't filled them right up because I may add a background. Plus, we need to allow for the drops that we're going to put in. And over here, I've got five mixing cups. This one's got a little bit more in because we need to mix up our white. But the other four are for our colours. Let's start mixing. Make sure you shake these. These are the, the dyes, the liquid dyes from Let's Resin. Just make sure you thoroughly shake those pigments around. And we're just going to add a few drops. Four to begin with. It doesn't matter if these are not opaque. Because we're going to add white to these after we've dropped the colours in. I'll just thoroughly mix that in. Now I've gone with a blue, a lemon yellow, a pink and a red. So I'm not going to show the whole mixing process of all of the colours. But I will show the white. Because from the video, it wasn't um, a video with spoken, like a spoken tutorial. So it was kind of tricky to work out what was being added to the pots. But I think I worked it out. So let's mix up our other colours off camera. So there are our four colours. Now I did mention you can do this with pigment paste. You will need to let the resin sit for until it thickens up if you're going to be using pigment paste because otherwise they will sink. So from what I understand, I now need to add the white liquid pigment to this one. I've got more resin in this cup because we're going to be using more of the white than the colours. Because we need to add this to each of the colour drops that we put in. So this naturally makes the resin opaque. And I don't know how many drops of each she put into her resin. So I'm just going to wing it. So this is the sinker white in here. I'm going to shake my bottle up. I'm not sure what the difference is or why I need to add this, but we're going to add a few drops anyway. Maybe it's to make it more opaque. I do not know. As always, massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much. Quite a few new members have joined. Thank you for the support and to anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks. Okay. I'm just going to wait for these bubbles to rise and pop in the colours and we'll start dropping. Okay, so I've got a tester piece, a couple of tester pieces here. In the video, it was a toothpick that was used just to drop the colours in. They shouldn't sink because the liquid dye isn't heavy and the resin is the same viscosity as the resin that we've already poured in because we mixed it at the same time. So we're just going to give that a minute. I just don't want to, I don't want to see it blur out and kind of spread. So that is good. Now we're going to do a tester with the white on top. So one drop of white was added to each drop of colour. I 
think this is right. And maybe the white alcohol ink is required to push out just slightly and kind of puff it out to make it look like that marshmallow effect. I'm, I'm really not sure. So I don't know whether I need to add more white alcohol ink. We'll give that a couple of minutes. Right, I need to know whether that is what needs to be done. So I'm going to pour some of, them, some of my white that I've already mixed just into another cup. And I'm just going to add some more of my white alcohol ink. And we're going to do another test drop and just see if it spreads a bit differently. It's the tricky thing with some videos. You're not quite sure on what's being added or how much or if it's required. But it's always good to experiment and, and kind of work it out for yourself. And see how it's done. So we're going to do another test drop with the same colour. In the middle and then we're going to use our new white that we've just made and just see if that makes a difference to our, our drop it wasn't as much in that one as before just add a bit more it may not be the case let's just give that a couple of minutes it has reacted differently it's spread a bit more but I think the original mix was fine to begin with, to be honest. So I've just tipped over that leftover with that extra pot that I made. It's not going to really make a difference to mix it back into this. It shouldn't do at all. As we want the colours to puff out a bit, but I think that may happen just over time. Okay. Let's start dropping our colours. So I think we'll stir one side and then the other side we'll leave. So we're going with our pink. Let's add more. I'm going to try and keep this one tidy. <laughs> Normally I just chuck things in everywhere, don't I? Let's lock my focus. There you go. Going to try and draw some hearts into some of these as well. Let's go with our red. We'll add the white afterwards. Add a little bit more to that smaller one there. So try and bring it out a bit more to match the others. That's better. Now with the hearts, the two large hearts. I think I'm going to add as much colour as I can really. Added more to that left one, doesn't matter. Let's go with blue. Just hope it works because I want to upload this one for you to watch tonight. A bit more to that one. Whoops. Oh dear. What should we do in the two small hearts? I think we'll go for red and pink. Or just red. Bit more on that one. Yeah, we we'll go red pink. I think we'll save the yellow for the multicolored hearts, the big ones. Might as well do the testers whilst we're over here. Probably going with quite a few colours in these if I can fit them in. Right. 
I think we need more in here, don't we? Whilst we've got the pink. I want them to stay round. <laughs> okay. Let's add some more. Actually, we'll go with some red in these two ovals as well as the pink. Because why not? Just fill that space. Now we need to add some red to the hearts. You can see I've left some room in this one. So I need to top them up. But hopefully the background will help the colours pop. We haven't used our yellow yet. Or yellow green. Whoops. Oh no. Well, that'll be interesting. <laughs> The yellow and the pink together. Lovely. So we got some yellow in these blues. Help if you get it in the mould down, not on the side. Now we're going to pop some blue in these. I think my blobs need to be bigger. Let's add some more. That was a big one. Uh, that's we've got all the colours in these ones now. I'll go for a bit more blue down here, and I think some of these are a bit empty, especially this one. So I think we'll do some white on its own as well. Right, so now we just need to add our white. I won't show the whole thing because this is going to get boring. It's going to take me a while to fill all of these. So I'll pause and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see I've gone in with some white on its own as well. Just to fill any kind of negative space. And I'm just hoping these puff out a little bit more. But we'll be back probably in about... I don't want to leave the resin to thicken as much as we normally do with our Petri stir. So I'm probably going to leave it about 15, 20 minutes and then come back. They've not really puffed out. and I, <laughs> I realised what I got wrong. You're supposed to put white in, then the colour, then another white. So I might try that at the end and we'll just see the results. But I won't show the whole mixing up again. But we're just going to do these anyway because I'm interested to see how they turn out as they are. Because I think they're still going to look pretty cool. I'm going to stir pretty much all of them. But leave one or two. Just plain. I think they're still going to turn out okay. But they're just not puffing out as much as the video that I watched. And that is why. Because I didn't layer them properly. Let's 
so I've started watching YouTube videos, but not properly. <laughs> oh well. Like I said, I think we're going to get some good results anyway. Something a bit different. See, art doesn't have to be perfect. I might just stick with this, you know, and do that another time. Because I'm quite liking the look of these. Which one do I stay? Let's do this one and leave the one next to it blank. And I don't know whether to back these with an alcohol ink or just top them up with another layer. I'll have a think. Well, they're looking pretty cool at the moment. Different style of feathery effect, I think. I'm definitely keeping that one as it is, but I really want to stir these. Go with a different way. You know what I'm like with my stirring. <laughs> I like to stir my resin. I think we're going to have to leave one of these as well, aren't we? Just so we can see the comparison. It's just going to look like a polka dot though. It's almost like the cloud effect as well, isn't it? It's very similar. Right. I'll see you in a little while. We are going to do it. I'm so indecisive, but I'm not going to show all of them because it's just going to take up too much time. So what we need to do is add a white, add a drop of colour, and then add another drop of white on top of that colour. So I'm going to finish off. I've only got three on this mould. Um, we'll see all the results at the end. I haven't made my mind up with topping up the other ones yet, but we'll get to that. So that is what they should look like. You can see how layered they are. Again, I'm going to stir maybe just this one and leave the other two just to see what they turn out like. I think this is going to be very similar to the other ones that we've just done. Maybe a bit more depth because we've pushed that colour down a bit more. So I think they're going to have a bit more depth than the other ones. So I've just got that one and that one to go. Now I'm just going to add some black alcohol into these, some of these, just to finish them off. And I'm just hoping it doesn't disrupt what we've already done. Let's see. It shouldn't, because those colours are just below the surface. So it shouldn't really affect them. Obviously you could do this with just another layer of black resin if you wanted to. I'm just saving time because I want to get this video up tonight. Might as well do these matching. Not going to do all of them. I think we'll go with one of these and the heart. We'll go with this one. And then just our heart. It's not disrupting them, they're just below the surface. I'll keep the other ones plain. Right, I'll see you soon. Right, we are back. These ones are blurred out a bit, but it would be interesting to see what these look like on the other side, because they've, they've kind of pulled inwards. So, let's start with the ones that we didn't stir. 
So I'm not sure just how they're going to be. Uh, has that blobbed? No, it hasn't. Mm, I'm not a fan. You might be. We did them wrong anyway, didn't we? So it's kind of different, isn't it? Probably would have looked better with that black background, maybe. Let's do the ones that we didn't add any black background to. That is really nice. It's got some depth to it as well, which is good. Now these are still a little bit soft. But it's fine. Still really cool. A bit of a bubble there. No, that's glitter. I didn't clean my mould properly. It's really neat. Let's do the oval. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to do more of these, I think. Yeah, definitely needed that background, I think. Right. No, it's still a little bit soft at the bottom. I'm so impatient, it's unreal. Yeah, see, it reminds me of the cloud technique a bit. Has some depth, you can see that depth. It's kind of a, a mashup between the cloud technique and feathering. I like it. I do like it, especially with the backgrounds. Did we get the matching pair? Yeah, pretty much. I haven't made those into pendants or earrings. Whatever you like. Try the other square. It's really cool looking, isn't it? We're almost done. And then we've got the other tray that we did a little bit later. This is the one I'm looking forward to. Wow. Almost like a bird in the middle with a wing coming up. Isn't it? Do you see that? I see it. Kind of got his head tucked in underneath the wing. Maybe I could have brought these white bits out a bit more. I don't know. But that is stunning. Right, let's see if we got any kind of marshmallow look. I'm not sure because the ink's kind of the yeah, they kind of pulled inwards. Oh no, that's odd looking, isn't it? <laughs> Very strange, maybe too much. Whoa, yeah, I think I added too much. That's weird. And I think where I sped things up with some heat to get them cure quicker, that might have affected those. Yeah, I think it's the heat where I've sped things up. It's 
So I'll try that again next time. But definitely, I see, I, I used heat with these as well, but these sat in the mold for some time before I put them in my box. Again, guys, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment, please. And if you haven't subbed, hit that button for me. And I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.